Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I'd like to show you a game from round 7 of the World Team Championship. This was a very interesting clash. With the white pieces, we have Jonathan Spielman, the English legend who used to be one of the top players in the world. He has not played much competitive chess recently, with his last tournament being in 2018. On the black side, we have the Iranian prodigy, Ali Reza Faruja, who is making strides towards the 2700 rating mark. Quite a big age gap between the two players. Let's see how the game went. So we have knight f3, knight f6, g3, g6, and b3. So right off the bat you can tell that Spielman's not entirely comfortable going into theoretical lines, which is understandable since he has not been playing on a regular basis. Ferruja goes d5, bishop b2, and we have c5. Ferruja plays very principally, grabbing the center since white allows it. We have bishop g2, bishop g7, both sides castle, e3, and rook to e8. And this is actually the new move in the position. Previously, knight c6 has been played between Carlsen and Rajabov in 2013. And Carlsen actually lost that game. He didn't manage to get any substantial advantage. So the game continued rook e8, d4, c takes, e takes, bishop f5. White decides to challenge the center. He goes c4. We have d takes, b takes, and it's now Spielman who has the central control. However, these pawns could become a target for black, particularly this c4 pawn. It can be attacked by a rook on the c-file. So c5 isn't really a move that white would want to play since that just gives black the d5 square. So do watch out for that, the c4 pawn. So knight c6, knight b to d2 would have been a principal way to play, developing all the minor pieces first and preparing to bring the rook over to shore up this weak c4 pawn. But instead, Spielman played queen to b3, attacking b7 but overlooking black's reply. Knight to a5, this is the best move in the position. So that attacks the pawn and the queen on b3, as well as defends b7. Queen to b4, and now bishop d3, Ferruja strikes when the iron is hot. So if black would have gone rook c8, this would have allowed white to compose himself with the move knight to a3. So bishop d3 attacks the rook and c4, so rook to c1. The pawn appears to be defended, but tactics work out in black's favor, due to his slight lead in development. So we have bishop takes c4, and this cannot be taken because black goes knight d5, trying to remove the defender of the rook, and after queen a4, b5, that has to be taken, and now rook b8, skewering the queen and bishop. So after bishop takes c4, we have knight b to d2, bishop d5, knight b3, knight c6. So if queen takes b7, knight takes d4, opens up a discovery on the queen, and a double attack on f3. So in this position, queen b5, white's queen has wasted quite a bit of tempo uh, moving around. a6, again kicking back the queen, queen e2. White has no compensation whatsoever for the pawn. Instead, he now has this isolated, annoying isolated pawn, and black's bishop stands well on d5. Fruja can always go e6 to bolster his center. Here he plays bishop to h6, attacking the rook, and controlling the c1 square, which Proved to be useful later in the game. Rook to d1 played. And now queen to b6, black connects the rooks. And just reminds white that the bishop on b2 is a little shaky. 
So queen b5 is probably a move that black wants to play as well. Although the trade would double black's pawns, black would get very good play on the semi-open file. So here Spielman played knight c5. This was actually a mistake. So knight to e5 would have been much better. Instead knight c5, this move was geared at meeting queen to b5, where white's idea is to play a4. So white would be able to challenge on the open a file. But instead, knight c5. However, this move allowed Frugia to play a very strong pawn break, e5. And this is now possible because if the pawn is captured, this knight is now unprotected. Queen takes c5. Queen to d3 would unpin this pawn, attacking this knight. Also, the bishop on d5, but knight to g4 keeps the material. If queen captures d5, queen takes f2, followed by queen takes b2, or even knight to e3, attacking the queen and also threatening mate on g2. This works as well. Then black would be up a whole piece. So after e5, Spielman played queen to c2, getting out of the rook's line. We have e takes d4, black has a tremendous position. His bishops are raking across the board. This rook is very active on the open e file. And for white, this knight on c5 could become a problem. It could be susceptible to a pin on the c file. Spillman decided to play knight takes d4. It's hard to suggest another move for white. However, this knight takes d4 runs into a series of exchanges which favor black. Now queen c6 check and white is missing the presence of that light square bishop. King g1 from Spillman. f3 can be played but this is rather ugly and it exposes the king on the second rank. So Spillman decided on king g1. And now knight to e4 from Frugia, taking advantage of this pin, intending to go knight g5, where the knight can jump into one of these squares with devastating effect. It's highly annoying that white can't go rook over to c1 to give extra protection to the knight, since that square is covered by the bishop on h6. And if white tries to go f4, Black simply retreats bishop f8, attacking the pin knight, and this leads to a gain in material. So back to the game, Spillman decided to give up his queen, knight takes e4, and knight f6 check basically daring Ferruja to walk his king up the board. We have king to f8, knight d7 check, and the challenge was accepted, king e7. Bishop c5 check, king to e6, rook d6 check, king f5, rook d5 check, king g4, rook a to d1, king to h3. No more checks for white and Spielman resigned in this position. Black has a whole queen for a knight. There are mating threats around the white king, for example this. So this is absolutely hopeless for Spillman. So I hope you enjoyed this very entertaining game. As usual, if you enjoyed the content, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching and have a great day.